Hey guys, it's Fancy Boylock here, and I got another video on some gear I'm taking while I'm going camping. Obviously, this isn't like insanely backwoods camping, it's just a regular old uh, state park, you know, the, the usual. But as I've learned after making the reservation, that at the campground, there, since it's during the winter season, it's gonna be March, the winter season doesn't end until about April, I'd say. Since it's the winter season, um, there's no modern restrooms, um, modern showers, none of that, and all the water's off. So, there's only going to really be a vault toilet there, I think, and electricity. Electricity is obviously a big thing, and um, I, I'm glad they have that at least, because I'm going to be bringing a nice oil heater I have so I can stay warm at night in March. It's going to be early March, so temperatures aren't going to be terribly cold but it's going to be cold enough to warrant a heater anywho um so yeah it's, it's going to be a lot more basic than i initially expected given those uh water being off and the um modern restrooms being out of order because of the winter so here i got some gear i'm going to be uh looking at i showed this in my last video but now both the items came in this one came in a little late but it's not like it matters the the event is on isn't until march so i'm going to go look at these first with you guys so this is only going to be useful realistically when i'm going to be hiking in the snow and ice i'd say more specifically ice because snow i got some new boots speaking of boots i'll show you guys those boots because i didn't get the boots i was looking at online initially so these are the ice cleats I ordered off Amazon. They're about $18 or so. They're really nice. Really high quality. u I don't know how you, how you pronounce that. But let me take them out of the bag. So here they are, guys. Um, they're pretty nice. Pretty high quality. Nice steel. They welded those little ends there so they wouldn't bend as easily. Um... <clears throat> They mount pretty easily to any boot. I got the XL. I just, my uh, foot size is about uh, 12, 12 wide. So this is uh, basically the a universal fit for I think 11 and a half through 13 size. So what you do is you stretch these over your boots. They stretch out quite a bit. You stretch these over your boots, put them on, and you got ice cleats underneath it. So it gives you much better traction on the trails. Because there's going to be some nice hiking. Uh, over at the campground I'm going to be going at. And I'm sure to document some of that as well. Also, it comes with two of these Velcro strips. What is it called? Velcro belts, I'd say. Um, basically, what these are for is they go, th they loop through a certain portion of the ice cleats. Loop through so that it holds them down so they don't fall off. Honestly, I tried these out just shoveling our driveway just to see how they are and whatnot. You, I almost don't think I need these unless I'm doing some insane hike or something. Because because these stay on so nice. They're really taut because the rubber is very thick and it stretches and it remains pretty stiff, I'd say. So yeah, those are pretty cool. I tried them out. So I'm going to bring them on with bring them camping with me. I don't know if there's going to be much snow and uh, ice when I go, but... I bought them just in case because I thought they were interesting and they are pretty cool and they are pretty cheap. So, what can I say? Alright, on to the cooking materials. I showed you guys my little stove and whatnot. Well, I don't, I didn't have anything to, uh, what is it called? Excuse me, to cook out of. So, I bought this very cheap, the decent quality, I'd say, um, pot set. So for about eight or nine dollars, I got this nice container or this nice bag that holds both the pots. I got a small little pot made of a. Sorry about that. The phone started ringing. But anyways, I got a little tiny pot here and a larger pot. Let me put my camera down so I can get that out. And obviously the carrying bag. I think I mentioned that already. So basically you got a little, little pot here. It's got measurements so you can measure how much water you are going to have. This lid, this pot actually can go on top like that. Act as a lid if you want to steam something or cook something a little better. Maybe boil some water a little quicker. And obviously as you can tell, the uh, these handles 
come out. The reason they go in like that is so that they uh, so they remain more compact and whatnot. Um, and it's easier to handle when you don't burn yourself when you're handling it. So basically, I'll probably end my camping since there's no water. I'm bringing water. I'm gonna be boiling water in here, pouring stuff in here, making like you know oatmeal and coffee and other things out of there to make and get some food going. So yeah, that that's basically it. These items. Let me go grab my boots and I will show you how nice they are and what kind of deal I got them. So as you see, I got some nice new Vasque boots. They aren't the ones I was looking at initially online, which were, uh, I don't remember what they're called, Talus Trek Ultra Dry. They, when, I, when I put them on my feet, they were just way too tight. I have a wide foot, so even though they're in the 12 wide size, they didn't fit that well on my foot. But these ones, I originally tried these on because I didn't have them in stock. I tried them on again when I was there, and I actually ended up really liking them. The, the look is cool, that's obviously, that's important to me, not necessarily everyone, but the look is nice, and the fit is phenomenal. My right foot, since my left foot's a little wider than my right foot, my right foot slips easily into this boot, and I basically just have to wear, uh, what is it, um, I basically have to break them, break them in a little bit, um, but overall I've worn them to a little bit just so I can start breaking them in, as I was saying, and they're really nice. Red Wing, is, I have a nice local shop, they do a really good job. He said to come in once a month and he'll do free siliconing on here. Put the silicone thing on and make sure it's nice and waterproof. Um, yeah, they're they're really nice. These are the St. Elias GTX, which normally they're $200 or 199 or whatever it is on their website. But luckily for me, these guys at the uh, at the Red Wing shop I was at had them on clearance for $131, I believe. So I got them at an insane price. I got them cheaper than the boots I originally ordered to try on. So these is a much more expensive boot, a much nicer boot, I'd say, in my opinion. And they're really nice. It's got the Vibram sole. Um, really nice boot. I'm, I'm really happy with them. I just have to wear them, break them in, because they're a little, they fit my feet, but they're a little tight. So I need to break them in, and they'll be amazing. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video update on my camping trip. I do a lot of camping, but this is the first solo one I'm going to be doing, so I wanted to record it and have kind of more of an individual experience, I'd say. So I'll see you guys in the next camping video.